Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Word. It's me and JT, we're in New York. Hello, Word New York. The boys take the town. Um, we didn't have much planned for this, but JT oh, yeah. was just <laughs> talking. We have almost nothing to say. JT was just talking about how he's been on other podcasts. He's a podcast veteran. I'm a resident pod vet here in the Word family. I sort of bring the the... The experience, the expertise, I'm comfortable on the microphone. Mm. That's what I'm bringing to this today's episode of Word New York. That's great, JT. Thank you. And if you didn't hear that, like, we've just been putting down bottles. Oh, yeah. After- if you haven't heard just the ambiance of this, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to let you in on a little word secret. Yeah, you want to give them the secret? We're drinking brew dogs in we're the drink- studio, baby. <laughs> we're drinking, we're drinking brew dogs. dogs. Mm. And um, so as not to legally incriminate ourselves right they're it's just there's no just videos sodas. oh they're right. just sodas. They're sodas but they are brew dogs hold on andy's calling oh let's get andy let's keep recording let's keep okay andy what's up put him on speaker on, put him on. on speaker andy andy i'm really pissed oh yeah I'm on, you know, first of all you know bus patrol has not uh gone off duty for the for the break good I mean, we're on bus that's patrol. great we're andy, can i let uh, can i can i tell you something andy what you're, andy, on, you're, word. you're on word <laughs> I'm on what? You're on Word. You're on a live episode of Word New York. Okay, that's that's uh, that's pretty exciting. I'm um, <laughs> the, the the subway just decided to not stop at 77. What? Um, God, you're such a fucker. So I it dropped me off at 86. Oh it's yeah, it's, it's like a that's like a eight minute walk. You're 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 fine. Yeah, so I'm fine. So I'm I'm on I'm on 84th. So I'm. You know, I'm making my way Perfect. downtown. I'm walking fast. Faces are passing. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll see. Uh, friggin' join in the yeah, episode. Yeah, join in this episode, dude. Once you, once you get in. All right, yeah. Knock I'll, on I'll, the door. I'll, I'll let you in. Just, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm frustrated because, you know, the bus got there 20 minutes late. Uh, it's all good, like, man. like 20 minutes, like... Well, it's we have a, a brew waiting lot. for you. We have a brew waiting for you. We're going to get a real New York slice afterwards, all yeah. right, buddy? Yeah, it's going to be delicious. I see already get bagel pies. I see you smoking vape. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of smoke shops around here. Yeah, if you want to get a vape right, for the I'll boys. Yeah. All right. See we you also later. ate all the guacamole. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's done. Fuck him. All right. We did make guacamole with New York avocados, and it was good. Yeah. It Julian good. made a, a very simple one-ingredient guac. <laughs> Only avocado. Three ingredients. There was salt and pepper. Okay. I was, see, I thought unnoticed, there was a little bit of... Unnoticeable, yeah. right? It's just, <laughs> in, the, in the blandness of the avocado, I was like, is that a hint of flavor? <laughs> I'm just teasing yeah, you. Yeah, and also these good. chips were especially bland. There was... I will say, could without used some lime. offending you because you didn't make these chips, these chips are trash. Mm-hmm. You got the lightly salty... Definitely. I, they were on sale at Whole Foods, and that's probably why they're trash. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta bust out the big bucks if the you big want. The big bucks at Whole Foods. Yeah. Mexican restaurant style. <laughs> <laughs> Should that be the new word? Just... <laughs> word. 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 You know what? Should we play Jeffrey's the game? A... Should we play the game? The game? The word game? I would love to. I feel like Jeffrey is a pretty harsh critic. As I was listening to episode one of Word, I was like... This guy is just nothing gets past him. So no, I think he he goes hard. Yeah. I think some of your words were pretty natural. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Word. Plus plus one. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> okay. Is, word. Is, yeah. So like, I, there are different phrases that like tend to precede word. Like mm-hmm. you say, yeah, word, or like, okay, word. Like, it's it's not always an isolation. Yeah. Yeah. Word. Perfect. Yeah. Plus one, I'm baby. already crushing it. Yeah. Um, dude, isn't this so fun? We're in New York. I'm having a lot of fun already. We're in we this like house, anything. and no one's here. Yeah. Waiting for Andy. What should we What should we talk about, man? Classic New York slices. Classic college, New York slices. College. college. Uh, these are dude, all topics of conversation. So many things to talk about. <laughs> you know, it's uh, okay. Fuck. Um. I mean, we just got to get going. We just got to go on a tangent. We'll, yeah. bring, we'll bring stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JT was talking about how he had to write a seven-page paper on Baby Driver. I did. That sounds pretty I funny. I wrote my critical analysis paper uh, on the Edgar Wright film Baby Driver. 
And I'll tell you, Julian, I had a hell of a time doing it. Damn. It was fun. I got to watch that movie. I was just re-watching the scene that I was writing about <laughs> over and over. I was like, Probably got yeah, sick of it. match cut, graphic match cut, contrapuntal sound, uh, diegetic, uh, Hegelian dialectical montage, montage editing, <laughs> Soviet like technique. Dude, I, <sighs> I nailed it. Like, That's... I don't want to... I'm not one to brag but on a brag. podcast. Eh, I it. did get a 95%. Thank you. Um, you know what? I like. I've I've written two papers my entire college experience yeah. so far because I'm taking STEM courses mostly. That's something and, we could talk about the difference between yeah. STEM and not STEM. And like, I, but it sucks though because like every time I do write a paper, I'm like, I get a taste of creativity. Right? Yeah, and I'm like, holy shit! Like having this creative control uh-huh. and like That's not that fix, not you gotta being chase that dragon. not being told like, oh, just fucking do this piece set. Like in in high school, I used to love objectivity and being like okay you do your homework mm-hmm. if you did it right you get an a if you didn't do it right you don't get an a yeah but now i'm in college and like i guess polly prepared us pretty well for writing i'm like I guess fuck so, yeah man. dude like i'm like this creativity and shit is fun yeah like and that's why i've kind of been making videos and, and podcasts and shit like yeah, i need some kind of creative outlet. outlet yeah i totally get you there so you're you're more of a stem boy yeah me i'm more of a leaf guy <laughs> what is that like stem and weave oh no <laughs> i, I just, thought it would be funny oh damn that was pretty good thanks um but yeah i've been taking Leafy, i have not taken a single i in order to graduate sometime in the next four years i have to take one math class what do you think you're gonna say and it could Stas- be i'm probably gonna take linguistics because that that's counts. not math yeah I that's know. not math but it counts because you know i'm a film major oh i don't go to real school it's cute no, it, it, um, it reminds me of what, like, Matilda said. She was like, people always, like, you know, uh, shit on, like, non-STEM majors and being like, oh, like, they don't have to do any work. That's not true. Like, you still do a, a ton of work. Yeah. Like, you're saying you've only written a couple papers. I've written, like, a butt ton a of papers. A butt ton of papers, yeah. yeah. And, like, it depends. Like, because, I mean, if, if you really like that, then it's more enjoyable yeah. work. And, I mean... Like, doing a piece set can sometimes be super rewarding. I'm like, oh, sick. I'm learning this new math concept, and I'm applying it, and it's rewarding work because I'm understanding this. Yeah. But then sometimes it sucks ass. Yeah. And it just feels repetitive and, like, and arduous and not fun at all and yeah. shitty. And I mean, I'm talking a big game right now about, like, I don't know, workload and all that. Like, I when I first got to college, I was like, this is more work than high school. I, I felt that same way. Yeah, and yeah. then I, like, stopped doing work that I, like, didn't really need to be doing. Oh, I was okay. like, okay, this is fine. But I also, like, my finals are coming up. Yeah. And there's a couple classes where I just really could have been paying attention a lot more than I have been in the past few weeks. Uh-huh. So we'll see how that pans out. Yeah, um, I'm I've sure been kind be of, fun. like, forced to pay attention and do all my work. Yeah. Because I kind of need to. There's like, ah, it sucks. Like, I have to care about my GPA in college if I'm planning on going to any sort of post-undergraduate type of school. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to go to med school, yeah. but Really? I, oh, yeah, you're pre-med boy. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, so, like right Lang. now, Dr. Lang up in here. Um, Is Andy almost here? Uh, he just texted, I don't know. Should but we, I, oh, I, I don't know. uh, yeah. I, I don't think he's almost here. Like, I mean, he's probably like... He's at like 88th, a, right? That's he's at 84th. 84th. That's, that's like, like four blocks of, away. Five blocks away. A New York block. Yeah, a New York block is like a 10 New, feet. A New York block. A New York block is really, really... New York. Really so nice. I... I Is he here? No, we would see him probably. We can see he's him fucking through the here. window. Oh, dude, he's go across, across the street. street. What is he... Go does he not understand how streets work? Go across the street, jackass. That's what I'm texting. All right, I'm going to go open the door yeah. and yell at him. You keep okay, talking. I'll, yeah, I'm going to. Oh, I got to. Okay. All right. Word listeners, we're getting Andy. What I got to do right now is I got to go up and get the bottle opener um, for Andy's brew dog, which, again, if you are listening, it's soda. Um, I just got the bottle opener. I'm heading back downstairs. What a gorgeous place. Oh my goodness, I'm hearing this, this is so exciting. I haven't seen Andy in months. I've, I've FaceTimed him, I've IG lived right. with He's him. He's outside. He's outside. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I... Oh, I see. Yeah, right here. 
I see my boy. Oh, what's up, Andy? No, the picture you sent was from across the street, so I said go across the street. Oh, see, that's that's a little bit of a... That's what we call a... You know, it's like all this technology. It's really easy to... You know, you say, uh... You say, um... You say fuck on, uh... And it autocorrects to, um... What is it? All right, welcome to the podcast, word listeners. The worst guest of all time, Andy Rickert. So far, no, being not funny. No, it's, it's an actual thing. When you're, it says ducking. duck. Yeah, when ducking. You say fucking and it says yes. ducking. You got it. It says Man. duck. Crack open a brew dog for me. Yeah, dude, we got, we got brew dogs. I will. We got brew dogs like we're uh, like it's a pound house. Um, and, uh, that's just my opinion. I hope the audio sounds good from this. I'm sure it's going to be gonna trash good. and unlistenable. This is some yummy No, it's going to sound good, probably. But I was about to say, um... Oh, never mind. Well, I mean, we have Andy now. We should talk to him. Yeah. Andy, so how did your comp sci project go? You oh, were... I made Tetris. I know. How did it go? Did you uh, get a good grade? Yeah, I, I haven't gotten the grade yet. I actually forgot to put a little thing on the screen that says paused when it's paused. That's lame. So I lost points for that. I know okay. I lost points for that, but uh, other than oh, that... Well. Other than that, we're, uh, we're thriving. It's kind of sad that, like, we're friends who have not seen each other in a long time, and we're just talking about, like, school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. We're also talking oh. over a podcast. Like, we're, we're documenting this. I, we'll, yeah. actually, we'll actually we, catch okay, up with you. JT and I did catch finished. up for, like, half an hour okay, or so, 40, yeah, 40 minutes. for your ass. You yeah. The yeah, no, JT's been here for a while. I know. I've I been know here since 1230 when I said I was going to arrive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's been over Dude, an hour. My yeah. bus said it was going to take an hour and a half. My bus. And an hour and a half is 12.15. The bus showed up. 20 minutes late, and then we just sat in the parking lot for 20 minutes, like, jerking our dicks off, like, uh... That's disgusting. Just together. No, it was kind of... It It was was sort of of lovely. It was kind of a surreal little moment where we transcended, like... I think there's a cultural expectation to not... Yeah, I was about to... I was looking for... I don't know. I'm just gonna use, like, I don't even... No, Wait, so are there other people here? No, it's literally it's just, just us. us. Why? Why? It's a boys' house. <laughs> it's boys' house. Why? No offense, but why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 I think that's the most like inquisitive. Like, <laughs> no offense taken. I just really like living alone. Like, I'm not even kidding. Okay, so you just like you. It is nice like, to get a break after like, like living with roommates. Yeah, yeah I should I we really, talk about our roommates? I like my okay roommate. My roommate. Oh. Roomy recap. Well, I don't want my roommates uh, to never watch mind. This, yeah. yeah. Hey, if roommates, you're out there, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My roommate gives me weed a lot, actually. And if you're listening, he's joking. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta do that. Because yeah. my dad is probably listening to this. Probably. Hey, 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 hey dad. dad. Hey, Dad. How are the Dodgers doing? Hey, Dad. <laughs> F off, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Hey, Dad, if you're listening that's to this, nice. if you're listening to this, F off. Yo, can I, can I, this is no dad's I, allowed pod. What are you fucking doing? What are you doing? You can, like, it's a mortar and a pestle. Andy, room. sit down. We're trying sit, to do a podcast. Sit at the table. Now. We're going to put the phone in the in middle. The center. It's only fair. So I don't know if you guys know, but I'm actually a model now. That's, really? That's the biggest development in my life. Yeah. That's so, kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, great. Talk about that, because so far, this has been the least listenable episode of any Yeah. Oh, podcast. this will actually be a fun... Actually, I, I hope he doesn't listen to this because it'll be fun to like read from his Facebook because uh, basically, um, yeah, it's, for, it's for this RISD guy um, who's a senior and he just has like, <laughs> I'm just going to read the excerpt. So he posts statuses. Okay, word. Like he put like he posts like okay, word. <laughs> plus one. Plus one. That's like, <laughs> that's already like content. Like anyone who just goes post on statuses. Facebook and yeah. posts a status. Like we were talking about friend of the podcast, Nate Hollander. Mm. His Facebook is fucking wild. It's, it's off like the he, chains. No. But I'm, I'm there, okay with that. Yeah. Like I'm, a, I'm always... Oh there's a fashion here. That was good. <laughs> just he posted. says, bitch, can I help you? <laughs> wait, wait, we need to, we need to <laughs> slow down. down, down. Yeah, I don't these. think... I don't think yeah. one, of, one, of his, <laughs> one of his status updates on Facebook is just all caps the word fashion. <laughs> you got a solid five likes on that. That's great. I like the unique no, um, it's, it, it, another one is pages. Bitch, and can I help you? Looking for a sacrificial virgin, willing to die for hashtag Lord, hashtag Satan, HMEO. Yeah. Ten likes. Not a great, not, not very funny. Time to summon Satan and open the portal so that my ghost friends can enjoy this night of fright. So okay, I, I like that. Actually. That was kind of good. This was from 2015 and he brings it back. Teacher thinks that my design aesthetic is sad and scary. LOL. Welcome to my life. Hashtag Hail Satan. He shares it two years later and says it's still true. Um, I I fuck with it. <coughs> At first I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel. You but... gotta say, excuse me, right, right now. <laughs> no, you got here. 
Pardon me. Thank you. Sorry for burping on the podcast. That's disgusting. Yeah. Not in this house. Um, let's just direct this conversation. Yeah, let's okay, so I had, I had a question for you, Julian. Go. Because I was thinking, instead of talking about, uh, you know, academics all the time, let's talk about our creative... So creative you pursuits. you and Justin have been uh, making... making. This is so... <laughs> we've been oh, going... No, yeah, this is so masturbatory. We're jerking each other off hard. We've been going off. How, how did you meet Justin? Because I okay. think it's insane. Okay, for the listener who doesn't know, me and Julian, friends at Polytechnic, right? Yes. Justin and Nate... Friends at Harvard Westlake. They don't know who we are. We don't know who they are. I go off to college. I become best of friends with Nate. Julian goes off to college. I become. I wouldn't. Okay, I'm so bad at the word best. Like that's the, be, fine. the word best of friends. Like yeah. it's just so hard for me to do that. But yes, we are super close. Justin and I, we we we're a team. Side note: Jamal, our friend from Poly. Different college from both of us, and he is now friends with one of Nate's friends. Berg? Berg, yeah. Berg? He's friends with Berg? Friends well, with then Berg. fuck, this is perfect. Or is it Berg? It's yeah, somewhere. Georgetown. Yeah, Berg Georgetown. Versus Georgetown. Yeah. So it's crazy how, like, these two groups have just sort of, like, intersected. Merged. Yeah, I mean, we're both, like, weird L.A., like, high school uh, yeah, it's, groups. It's not I think it's crazy. not. I think like, it's pretty, <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's just a college thing, is all the L.A. kids sort of flock They're like, to each oh, other. shit, these kids are weird, too. Let's, let's yeah, hang out. Yeah, just these fucking coastal elites. Yeah, um... So yeah, I met Justin at the Tufts in LA, like meetup for all the LA families to like get together in the summer before school. That's where I first. And met like him. that was like the literally right, first guys, time I talked to him. Alternate timeline for this podcast. Well, I just called Dylan Brokos and he didn't answer. But like alternate timeline, Dylan like gets on the phone and joins <laughs> in this podcast. Should we roast Dylan for not picking up the phone for a second? Um. Is Dylan Rocha's now an official enemy of the word podcast? I was just thinking about his line, word. call me Natalie Portman. Um, <laughs> that's a great line. That's, okay. that's such a fucking deep cut. Can we, that is a very deep yeah, cut. That's... Can we make a verbal promise right now that when we're all back in town, um, and this is being recorded, when we're all back in town for Christmas break, we're making Day in the Life of Boys Part 2. Yep. Yeah, verbal that's... promise. I, I would love to do it. It would be so good. Because I barely got to be in the first one. And and it, I, I yeah, like we I could so really much to give. We could, you do. You, you do. <laughs> you definitely do. I think the problem with Day in the Life of Boys is that the stakes are too like, low now. And that, like, if you show anyone that video and it's, like, really incriminating or embarrassing. It's like, oh, that was me in high school. I'm an idiot. Yeah. So we need like updated shit. Oh, it's to, gonna, it's gonna be we like, need it's crimes. gonna be 2.0. It's gonna be off the chain. We need yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. That will humiliate us now. We, and need we have commit, no excuses. We need to commit <laughs> felonies on camera. For <laughs> I think that was part the two. beauty of it. Is that it was something we were all collectively both ashamed and uh, <laughs> in awe of. It should be Day of the Life of Boys Part Two. Dude, I'm so excited. I'm just find some property that we're not supposed to be on and be. I might make it public when I'm like 27. I mean, at that point, yeah, no one cares, right? Like, I'm gonna make it public when what, statute of limitations. What's that? It's like when enough time has passed in a crime. Oh, I know a lot about statutes. <laughs> oh, oh God! God. Like, <laughs> Get the fuck out! <laughs> no, no, I'm not it's touching you. Man. No, you can't be saying that shit. Oh, That's disgusting! All right, all right. Now that he's gone, back to Justin. So we met very briefly at this Tufts like yeah. get together, and like didn't really talk. And then we met again during our pre-orientation yeah. where we actually like got in the same canoe and like just talked about like our high schools, our respective experiences and shit. Sick. And that was like probably the first bonding um, conversation that we had. And I was like, damn, like this kid, kid seems pretty similar. Uh-huh. Um, so that was cool. And then there was this one night, like I think two weeks after classes had started, I was like, dude. I want to make something right now. Yes. I was just like, I, yes, wanna, I texted him. And I was like, this I wanna, is what I like to hear. I want to make something. And he thought JT and I, a couple of years back, it was a, it was after a volleyball game. And I, you know, we were, we have these talks in the, in the, in the back of uh, his car. We, yeah. And I, I looked at JT and I said, JT, I want to make something. And you, you, we didn't say anything else. We knew what to do. We, uh, what is it? Our, our child, Smelt and Ron. Oh, Sh- Smelt and Ron. We I don't know what that his, is. We conceived his son. All right, we're interrupting this tale to God, tell you the tale. Really, yeah. I'm sorry, I have, I have a lot to bring back. Um, I'm there, really excited right now. There, where, where did we first see Smelt and Ron? It, was, it must have been at that Simpsons. That volleyball game. About. Really? Yeah, because we conceived him there. What? No, but he... I feel like we must have seen it. No, it was at an assembly. It was at an, an assembly, yeah. yeah. So you know those like all school assemblies yeah. that have so there's this yeah. little first grade boy. Just picking uh, his nose. Picking his <laughs> nose. Just the cutest boy in all the land. Okay. And me and Andy decided that we were gonna adopt him without his knowledge. 
Um, and we were like, what should we name him? And at the same time, you said Ron, and I said Schmelton. So his name became Schmelton Ron. Ooh, yours got priority. Well, I just works because it sounds like Elton John. Right? Yeah, right. Anyway, back to your story. Yeah, so Justin, like, I, like, he was probably the dude I was feeling most comfortable texting. Just like, I want to make something. And he thought initially that, like, he, like, thought I was talking about music like pr- <laughs> producing like a beat yeah. and i was like no 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 he got, he got to my door no i rap rocos produced yes <laughs> this is the second dylan rocos mention on the I, dylan dylan have... rocos. I haven't talked to dylan in such a long time i think dylan's gonna be the kind of person like who is just underappreciated at his time <laughs> and like people are gonna look back and they're gonna be like oh yeah like... <laughs> That's a weird thing to say about yeah. a human being, but yeah. I, kinda, I think it's true. I, I think Dylan it. has consistently been no, really I, funny and never got enough credit for it. I think he gets credit. I don't think he does. I mean, I, I'll say it right now, I really enjoyed Dylan Rokos in high school. Like, I, me period. too. I think he's a great guy. Yeah, and, and I, really I mean, funny. I don't think... I don't think I, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, so we fucking make like a dumb video, and that's when it started. Like, yeah, yeah with his roommate, he came over... And then boom. It sounds extremely similar to how me and Nate became friends because we also met at like the LA area student send off. But like briefly or very was... briefly. Yeah, exactly. And I thought he was a pretentious asshole. Oh, perfect. And he thought I was uh, pretentious and boring. And then <laughs> we met on the first day of like actual school and we were like, oh, hey, you're the guy. And you know, we were like clinging to each other because it was like an oh, classic. Thing. We like discovered that we had very similar taste in music. We both like the obscure comedy trio Stella. And then like night two or three, he was like, Yo, shout out to Stella. Shout, shout out to Stella. Stella. David Wayne, Michael Ian Black, Michael Joe Walter. One time. Are. But yeah. I don't know. On like noticed. night two or three, we were hanging out and he was humming the song Ocean Man by Ween. <laughs> and so I said, funny. holy shit, do you like Ween? And he was like, I love Ween. And we became like instant best friends <laughs> because I, we're, I, we're like obsessed with Ween. And your friend oh, has a like, part two sticker on his fridge, right? A what? I think mean, he, he has a... A sticker of this band, the microphones. It's just Dude, like... see, I don't. I'm not as obscure. He asked me I don't... day one. Nate asked me if I like the microphones. He was like, "There's no way this kid knows who the microphones." Is. So I was like, "Yeah, I, know. I like the microphones." Oh, that God. actually the same I... thing happened with me. That's I, I don't want to like. I'm pretty shallow, I suppose. I don't want to like hog up air with, with honestly with all backstories. But I had a very similar thing where some guy was like, "Oh, like." Do you like pavement, like as a joke? And I was yeah. like, Yeah, I really do. <laughs> I was like, really one of my favorite too. bands. <laughs> this is so funny that we're all just having these alt boy experiences. Yeah. In college. yeah. Damn. Except for Julian. Except for me. I'm like Normie su- Supreme. I'm s- Normie Supreme. No, he embraces Normie culture. But... I, I really do. Like, no. I'm a charismatic, outgoing guy. I make friends with people <laughs> You're very white, easily. white, which is huge. That's huge. <laughs> That's definitely big. Um, <laughs> I just... just yeah, like, I... Facts. Okay, at the beginning of the school year, like, I was finding, like, no problem just making, like, good friends with, like, a lot of people. Yeah. And then Justin, like, just... Ha- there was so much familiarity with yeah, him. Yeah, I yeah. was like... Damn, like this is cute. This is good. Like this is exactly what I've been missing. Yeah. And there it is. It's pretty crazy. Like you I don't know about you guys, but I was I you really like stress about like fuck, like how am I gonna make friends in college? I right? didn't at all. I don't remember what like making friends is like. It's been so long. Okay. And you just it just happens. You just fall into it. Yeah. So, but, but then sometimes it's like it's kinda weird because like once you do find your friends, like you, you just give up on, like, trying to become friends with anyone else. Oh, completely. You're just like, I'm like... <laughs> I have three friends and I'm done. Yeah, I don't exactly. Have friends anymore it's, it's for like, the rest of my life. Like, oh, my yeah. God. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Normie Supreme does not agree. Well, Julian... No, I'm, I'm with you. I think it's I think it's good to reach out. And yeah. Keep yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm all about, it, like, opening horizons, you know? Yeah, and they, there's so many nice, like, open people at, at Tufts, at I, least, that, like, it's I would, so easy. I would argue that horizons are open. Yo, shout out, shout out Evans. Shout out Evans. I know he's undergoing, I love Jesse. I know he's undergoing art, artist like maintenance right now. So I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know if he has new shit coming or like, I'm yes. really fucking hyped. Like, I feel like he's going to like just meet some guy at USC and like, I don't know. Like there's some, is he There's like, gotta be people at USC. Yeah, there's well. gotta oh, yeah. be like, oh, yeah. just like, like, like college level rappers. And, and like, they're oh just, my God. They're, they're just desperate they're to just find hungry. Jesse They're Evans. just hungry for it. Once, like, his once production, they find his yeah. beats, dude. Dude, his beats are good. They are. Uh, getting better. Pardon me. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, I want I want Zealand to like. Oh, work. dude, Zealand's I want Zealand Instagram. To, like, work for okay, long. what is what going? happened? He it was up so, so hard. It was so good. It like, was already so good. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And then it was just like, what? Like, yeah. How did that happen? I, I want him to hire him and like. If you guys don't know, 
Um, Zeal McLean's Instagram is formerly known as I Jam to Music in Chili Chili Spots. Yeah, now just Zeal McLean. He's taking ownership of his talent. Oh my God, it's so good. He just before he was just anonymous, just presence. Like who is this man? Yeah. So he posts. What he does is he like what he used to do is he would just post video of him hanging out somewhere yeah. listening to music and it would the be a song still he shot listening. yeah he would, be, he would be standing still and the song he was listening to would correspond to the lyrics and mm-hmm. the music somehow uh c- correspond to like the image on screen yeah. like yeah, where yeah. he was and now he just out of nowhere changed it up so that it's these crazy like music video effects yeah it's I mean, where do you even learn those? that i don't like, know the, is he taking like insane art it's classes really something at, else at santa cruz it does not look like beginner level <laughs> no yeah like, and he just drops it out of nowhere yeah and like the quality is insane and like just looks awesome i feel like we're all going to be very successful lives that's, <laughs> that's, just, uh, that's just i think that's true i i, I really want to post i think this screenshot is super funny which one? Oh, this is such terrible podcasting but just, I kind of want to post this on my face. This is pretty fucked. It's just, it's just, it just shows Julian's text message bubble saying, this is pretty fucked. She's talking to a ball of Christmas lights. Because for listeners who don't know, Andy and Julian are both getting into season one of Stranger Things in 2017. The biggest television phenomenon of 2016 is happening to my two close friends at the same time. Over fucking Thanksgiving 2017. Yo, I'm, I'm okay. I watched five episodes Dude, of season I, I, I one. I finished season one last night. Yeah. I finished season one in one day. No, two days. Two, two days. days. Still yeah. impressive. I might fuck around and watch The Office. Like, like, Dude. <laughs> like, you don't even know. Dude, that would be... <laughs> but Stranger Things has been scaring me, dude. It gets kind it's of a scary. scary show. It's gross. Hey, I don't want to... Like, I know this is your podcast and anything, but does anyone feel like wrapping up and grabbing a New York slice? Because I'm pretty happy. Yeah, okay. So, All right, shout-outs at the end. Should we do shout-outs? Let's do shout-outs. Shout shout out. we, shout out. we should do a closing word and a closing... All right. Oh, maybe um, a cheers? First shout-out oh, yeah, is to George cheers, Padgman. Nah. I drank shout out. Shout-out to George Padgman. I finished Padgman. all of mine. Okay, so we're thinking of people to shout-out. I'm sure shout-out shout out to, to Jesse George, Evans. Shout-out to Jeffrey Silver. Shout-out to Justin Sacone. Shout-out to my best boy, my number one boy, Miles Caldwell. I can't wait to see you over winter break, Aww. Miles. I love you. Uh, shout-out to Nate Hollander. Shout-out to my mom. I saw her. It was sweet. And JT's dad. Shout-out to my dad, who's probably still listening, despite the fact that I told him to F off. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, all right, that's good. That shout-out Fra- shout Frank Ocean. Shout out, okay, shout-out to Jeffrey Silver, the original Definitely. Of Jeffrey Silver is a classic, and he'll always be a um, classic. Shout-out Mark Shue. I, 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 I texted like Mark him, Shue. I texted him and Jeffrey last night, and we had a brief interaction. And it was, that's cute. Yeah, it, was, it brought me back. And shout-out to... Um, shout-out to women. Yes. Just women. Are we yes. Right. Yeah. And shout out to New York Slices because we're about to go yes. get a New York Slice. All, All right. right, everyone, cheers. Closing word.